Welcome to the hidden gem of the Caribbean, Anguilla. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the allure of Anguilla, a destination that goes beyond the ordinary. Join me as we dive into the heart of this vibrant island where every moment is a celebration of life. So, buckle up because by the end of the journey, you will understand why Anguilla isn't just a place on the map. Get ready to be captivated, inspired and immersed in this magic that is Anguilla. Let the journey begin with the territory's flag. It consists of blue field with the British flag and the territory's coat of arm. The coat of arm features three dolphins representing endurance, unity and strength. The white background optimizes the peace and tranquility. The blue at the bottom evokes the surrounding Caribbean Sea, as well as faith, youth, and hope. Geography! Anguilla, a British overseas territory in the Caribbean Sea, which lies east of Puerto Rico and the Virgin's Island and north of St. Martin. The territory consists of one main island and number of much smaller islands and keys with no permanent population. The capital is the valley. Total area is about 91 square kilometers. Its territory is made up of low-lying coral limestone. The island has beautiful white sandy beaches along the coastline. Sobe being the particularly popular one. The landscape is relatively flat and the island lacks significant mountains or river. It's a tiny island. The vibrant coral reef along the northern coast makes it a popular destination for snorkeling and diving. The climate is tropical and is warm throughout the year. Average temperature ranges from 25 to 31 degrees Celsius. The island is prone to occasional rainfall. The likelihood is high during the hurricane season from June to November. History History of Anguilla is very complicated. It is shaped by colonization, slavery and struggle for self-determination. The Arawak and the Carib people were the original inhabitants. Christopher Columbus is believed to have sighted Anguilla in 1493 during his second voyage to the Americas. In the 17th century, British climbed control over the island. The island changed hands between British and French for several times. The English established plantations primarily focused on tobacco and later cotton. The plantation's economy relied on the forced labor of enslaved Africans. Slavery persisted until it was abolished in the 19th century. After the emancipation, the economy struggled as the plantation owners left the island as they couldn't manage without the slaves. In 1825, Anguilla was placed under the administrative control of nearby St. Kitts. This led to the tension and this year for more autonomy. In 1967, Anguilla disenchanted with its political status, feeling neglected by the government in St. Kitts, declared itself independent republic. This move was not internationally recognized, but it drew attention to the island's desire for self-determination. British troops intervened in March 1969 and restored British rule. Subsequently, the Angular Act of 1971 placed the island directly under the British control. Then in 1980, Angular become a dependent territory and its developed own stable parliamentary democracy with growing economy. Today, Anguilla is a tranquil destination known for its beautiful landscape, cultural heritage and efforts for developing sustainable economy. People and culture! Anguilla is home to a relatively small population of about 
15000 people majority of them are african descent significant minority is european and mixed race individuals the primary language is english because of its colonial history but anguillians speak a unique english caribbean dialect the island attract expats and tourists due to its appealing lifestyle and stunning landscape majority of the people adhere to christianity with various denomination represented in the island religious festivals and events are essential part of the cultural calendar fostering community bond the culture is shaped by its history geography and creativity of the people Calypso and Soca are popular music, Quadrille and Clifton are traditional dance, Anguilla hosts an annual summer festival showcasing their talents, food and culture. Jankanu is a traditional street parade with vibrant costumes and masks. It is amazing to see. Anguilla has a strong boat racing tradition. The events like Anguilla de Regada showcases local sailing skills as for the cuisine given the coastal location seafood is popular dishes often features fish lobster and conch the cuisine is also influenced by african caribbean and european flavors local specialties are roti and johnny cakes for such a small island angula has a thriving community of artists and crafters Visitors can explore local galleries and craft market showcasing paintings, sculptures and handmade items. The literature reflect on its history and cultural identity and contribute to the preservation of storytelling traditions. The best part of the island is the people. They are known for their warmth and friendliness, making visitors feel welcome. The strong community ties are evident in the local events. Anguilla's culture is a rich tapestry woven by its history, music, cuisine, art and strong sense of community, creating a unique and captivating island experience for visitors. Economy. The economy is primarily driven by tourism and related services. Tourism is the cornerstone of Anguilla's economy. The island attracts visitors with its pristine beaches, luxury resort and vibrant cultural events. Many locals are employed in hospitality and tourism sectors which include hotels, restaurants and recreational services. Anguilla has a small but significant offshore financial sector contributing to the island's revenue. Due to its small size and arid climate, Anguilla's agriculture sector is limited. Some locals engage in small-scale farming, producing fruits and vegetables for local use. Fishing remaining a traditional industry with local engaged in both sustainable and commercial fishing fishing the demand for tourism infrastructures have driven construction and real estate development the new resorts and accommodations are being built anguilla rely heavily on imports for goods and services including food and fuel the government is a major employer providing public services and overseeing various aspect of the island development there have been initiative to explore renewable energy sources to reduce dependency on imported fossil fuel the island is doing okay economically despite being a british territory it doesn't get much financial support from united kingdom However, when there is a weather event or significant disaster, um UK foreign office fund recovery and rebuilding of the of the territory. Other than that, not much help. If you live in Anguilla, let me know how I did. I hope I did justice to the island's beauty. I don't think I can, but you know, it's a beautiful island. And if you are if you have been to the island or if you are planning to go, let me know. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.